And um, as I say, we use comedy as a sword and a shield and a medicine, but usually as a getting to know you, okay? We use comedy to break the ice. Are you like-minded? What can you take? What do you like? And I've always sort of pushed the boundaries a little bit to try and make people laugh at things they didn't think they could. But, you know, uh, but then, uh, you know, everything turns out okay, I suppose. And I started off lightly. I told this joke. Um, why did the little girl fall off the swing? Because she had no arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet. Um, and they laughed a little bit louder than that. There was only two of them, so thanks, right? <laughs> no, so I thought, okay, they get it. They like, so, and so you up the ante a little bit. I don't you push. And I told this joke. Oh, I need a drink. <sighs> Start the car, seriously? Right. <laughs> I told this joke. Made sure the old people couldn't hear. Like that. I went, okay. Father, sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. This little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. In the park? Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Till the man came along? Yeah, a man came along. And he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. Whatever happened, none of it was your fault, OK, darling? None of it was your fault. But tell Daddy every detail. What happened? Um, he took me behind a tree so no one could see what we were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, well, make something up. <laughs>